Howdy everyone, Pete Daddy here. Today's the start of a brand new promo on FIFA called What If, and this features cards that can get a plus two overall upgrade stats boost if their real life squad completes certain tasks. So for example, in this card we're grinding for today, Francesco Caputo, he's a striker. Strikers and midfielders will get a plus two boost if their club they play for scores six goals in their next five league matches. So if you complete Caputo, you'll be wanting to be looking at Swasuolo results from Serie A just to see if they can get six goals in the next five league matches. And Caputo would go from an 87 to an 89. And that's worthy of the Whopper button. Tell the crew to push the Whopper button. But I'm going to go over the best way, the fastest way, share with you a squad to use to help get this done because this is in a brand new live foot friendly where you have to play with bronze players. So you're going to want to pay attention to that. But if you are new here, make sure to subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. So let's just take a look at the challenges. First one is called Through Talent. Score two outside the box goals in the live foot friendly Difference Makers. Now Difference Makers is a new one. We've got to play with some bronze players. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. But we do have to get two outside the box goals. But notice it's not in separate matches. If you have any problems at all getting this, message your opponent before the match. Just trade out the goals and just be done with it. One thing I do want to point out too. Notice we've got one week to complete this. You can see six days, 20 three hours and since this one is in difference makers we cannot be grinding for caputo and benedetto and fofana or any of these at the same time if you want caputo you can only go for him by himself so that's a little bad but you know if you want this caputo that can go to an 89 rate and you need that Serie A italian striker then definitely just go for him the next one is assist in three separate matches using forwards Forwards are strikers, center forward, left forward, right forward, left wing, right wing. So, And that's what the position has to be on the card before it goes into the match. So if you have a Cristiano Ronaldo who has a striker when he comes out and you've position modified him to CDM, he no longer counts as a forward. It's got to be what the position is on the card when you go into the match. Likewise, if you've got a Conte who's a CDM and you've changed him to striker, he's now a forward according to FIFA. So just keep that in mind. But that is assist in three separate matches using forwards. That shouldn't be an issue. Generally, our forwards are going to be up top. The only potential issue is if you've got a lot of LMs, RMs, CMs, you may need to change an LM or an RM to a left wing or a right wing, something like that, just to get them to count as a forward. Four star finishing score five goals using Serie A players in the live foot friendly difference makers. So also notice this one has no restriction for game. So if, if you have any trouble with that one, maybe message your opponent, get the two outside the box goals, get the score five goals, and you'll be done with two of those objectives at once. However, I think with the way we have it set up, you're going to get this one done as you grind for everything else. Then winning ways, win four matches in the live foot friendly difference makers. So they're not asking much out of wins because take a look at this. This is the main grind. Score in 10 separate matches using Italian players in the live foot friendly difference makers. So this is the main grind. So at the minimum, you're going to be able to play or only going to have to play 10 matches. And what I really want to point out, we can 1 million percent do gold and goal in this. There's no like big, like it's not score 30 goals with Serie A players. It score five goals with Serie A players. So we can 1 million percent do gold and goal in this. We can knock this Caputo out lickety split if we all just help each other out with gold and goal. And the only maybe a potential problem is outside of the box. So you may have to have one match where you're just like, hey, I'll give you the win. Can you know, whatever, give me the outside of the box goals. Because sometimes it, it can be a pain. And we ran into this on icon swaps where you have to maybe score with finesse goals or you have to assist with the through ball. So sometimes it's maybe not easy to get that one goal as an outside the box goal. But maybe that's the one you may need to message your opponent, let the match play out, just get that one done. But everything else we can do this in golden goal so let's just knock this out lickety split we can bring that caputo into our club hopefully he goes from an 87 to an 89 worst case scenario he's some really strong fodder for us but let me show you the team that i've come up with that i think will make it easier because remember i, I had to think about this a good bit because we have to come up with four bronze players to play with plus we need italian players so one thing I do want to point out, if you have not, that, I mean, I don't know if we're going to get more of this, but I would definitely recommend knocking out some of the Silver Stars. We've got some really strong cards, like this Shea Adams Silver Stars card is really, really strong. I try not to include too many Silver Stars out here, but if you've got Silver Stars, try to get them linked in. This Vidra card is amazing. 
Keen, if you've got him, that's an, another Italian player. But I'm just trying to point out that if you've got some, if you haven't completed Silver Stars, we may be getting more and more of this. So you may want to try to get some of those. And those Silver Stars cards, like this Tour Grossa, are just cards that are boosted far and above, like the the 74 rating. For example, I think I think this Shea Adams with a Hunter is like a 85, 86. I don't know, mid 80s rating on Footbin at Striker. So they play far above and beyond. This Shea Adams has been absolutely legendary for me. Let's see. He's three-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. Uh, he goes to 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. So I'm just that's kind of a tangent there, but I'm just saying try to knock out some of the silver stars. The one that's out there right now is a right back, a French right back. So just trying to collect some of those are pretty easy to do. We may need those more for challenges, but just wanted to point that out. As far as the team I am using, now some of these cards are pretty expensive right now. So if you're not looking to do Caputo right now, then you might want to wait a few days, let these prices come back down because some of these are very expensive at the moment. And I guess let's take a look at this Caputo right now, but see what see what we're re really working for. Now what I like about him, he's at that perfect speed uh, setting where you can put a hunter on him and make him go to like 98 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. His agility is already really nice at 92. You could potentially do something else. You maybe could put an engine on him to try to boost his passing, try to boost his dribbling. You could maybe put something like that, but I, I feel like Hunter is really what you're going to want to put on Caputo. Maybe if he gets that 89 upgrade, we maybe would think about something else, but I think right now he's just perfectly set up for a hunter. Now also notice 99 jumping, 90 heading accuracy, so you might want to put some crosses in there. I like his dribbling stats, his shooting stats, especially for his main stats. Now his long shots are a little poor, but other than that, it's some pretty strong shooting stats. Now long shots is when you're shooting from outside of the box. Finishing is when you're shooting from inside of the box, and his finishing, his attack positioning are all really nice. Player traits, he does have finesse shot player trait. Only downside on this card, he is three-star skill moves. He is four-star weak foot, which is nice, but I do wish he was four-star skill moves, but still. A really strong card, especially if he gets that boost up to an 89. Going to be a really nice Italian striker for you. But let me go over this team, show with you some of the picks. Now, I kind of feel like it seems like on the bronze players, some of the best bronze players are, are the best playing and game bronze players are sometimes left backs and wingers. But I've actually, I played with this McGlure card before, and I'll notice that that's a center back, a bronze center back with 89 pace. I mean, he's one of the fastest center backs in the game. 89 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. I mean, decent strength. I mean, of course, being a 56 rated bronze card, his defensive awareness is not going to be that great, but... Having that much pace is going to just to allow you to be able to control them, be able to move with them. And that's what you're looking for out of bronze players. So, you know, if you don't copy my team exactly, look for pace. I mean, it's just always on that on bronze cards. Pace, pace, pace. So look at left backs, look at right backs, look at wingers, and also look at goalkeepers because I feel like goalkeepers, you know, they're... It's not much difference between a 74 rated keeper and a 64 rated keeper, in my opinion. So I think goalkeeper is a great slot to use up for a bronze player. So in our case, we're using this left back with 89 pace. Now, normally I play with Robinson on my silver team. And you see there, he's 87 pace. And I love this Robinson. This uh, championship left back is 89 pace. So he's going to be able to run. We've got this Appia bronze card, 93 pace. Now he is off Kim a little bit. But what we're asking him to do is just make runs for us. And just if whether he's on 6, 7, or 8 Kim or 10 Kim, he's still going to have that 93 pace. So just keep that in mind. He's still going to be able to make some runs. I really like this Tora Grossa card. And Mustachio is really nice. So we're going to be looking at getting our Italian goals from Tor Grossa and Mustachio. And then keep in mind, you can pause and make subs. So I'm going to bring Keen on. I can bring Wamanga Tuca on. I can bring Vidra or Romarino or Dam on. So if you've got those really strong Silver Stars cards, so like I said, if you haven't been grinding for Silver Stars, start looking for those. If you need other strong Silver Cards bench players, look at some of the Nigerian players like Musa is a really good card. Uh, that you can buy. There's. Uh, let me just take a look at it real quick. I probably have some of them still in my team. 
but I've, I've had luck. Like on my alt account, I did not have any silver stars. I made a full Nigerian silver team. I was really, really competitive. Yeah, this Anyeka. I love this Anyeka card. Uh, Aina has been one of my favorites. I've talked about him. Okareke. I know a lot of my Rangers fans will love this Aribo card. So, I mean, you just see how much pace some of these Nigerian silver cards have. They play really well. One, as I even pictured, I just mentioned Musa has been a FIFA legend before. So if you don't have those and you need some links, maybe look at some of the Nigerian cards, or if you need somebody to come in off the bench, it's going to play well. I mean, take a look at this Anyeka card, 88 pace with 81 physical in the midfield. Just a really strong card. This Aina card, 86 pace, 70 defending, 73 physical. I play with this Aina and Anyeka in my main silver team. So just wanted to point that out there. If you haven't completed some of these silver stars and don't have those in your bench, look at some of those Nigerian players for subs. So just kind of keep that in mind. But Anyways, boys, I guess let me just go over so you guys know who all we have. So we've got Appia at left wing, Tor Grossa as my striker, Mustachio at right wing, Teo, this is a level 15 legend, so I wanted to get this Teo. Look at that, 86 pace, 81 physical. We have a Serie A English player that's helping me link everything. And what a great name to have for a footballer. Look at that, Ronaldo Vieira. I mean, what else could you ask for to be named after Ronaldo and Vieira? So pretty awesome there. Then we have the Shea Adams, that's outstanding. Giles left back, Mingi as a center back, McGlore at center back, Tolhan as a right back, and then Walton as a keeper. But honestly, use whatever keeper you want there. That's just going to help you link out some of that stuff. But anyways, boys, just wanted to go over that. Wanted to share with you how to get this completed because I know this is a new challenge with some bronzes we need to use. But if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff. But I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.